Right guys, I've got the, the, the log on the mill with a David Brown. So we're uh, just gonna see where it wants to be. Try and work it, it's got a bit of a, a, bit of a kick. From what I've read, what I've watched online, read online, and everything else like that, there's two types of people in sawmilling those who have and those who will. Those who have hit their log stops, what do you call them, uprights, and those who will eventually hit them. Yeah, right, let's see what we're working with. I forgot to put water in, so I'll be right back. Hey right, guys, we are ready. First cut. First cut with the Frontier OS27. Every day with me, Nick. Most excited I've been this year. Yeah, this year. Tell you what, there's no wrong with them. Get a tape on them in a minute as well, and we'll check them. I'm just going to take it back, turn it, turn it over.
wow. I knew I'd be impressed, but wow. Six by six, 150 by one. Actually, it's actually it's nice. 150 by 145. I, I scuffed up a bit on the measuring. Um, but these, I'm gonna use these as the rest of my posts are going for the uh, for the extension that's, uh, that I'm gonna do. So it's just cost me a couple of quid. Unreal, absolutely unbelievable. Right, let me get sorted, put the tractor away, put this and do this and do that, and then I'll get back to you. Right then, everyone, let's summarise of what's just gone on today. I can't, I honestly, I, I bet everybody who runs a mill is like me right now, and they're just, they're just in awe of what, what comes out of what you've just spent many, many hours. Um assembling and also spent a few thousand quid or dollars or Canadian or whatever wherever you are but you know when you do that first cut or you get the first bits out of it it just makes it all <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> so what have we what, what what have we got we got the OS 27 all assembled and we cut cut this log down that we had. We had a log that was just looked good enough for the mill, you know, with plenty of plenty of size in it. And uh, I put it on the mill. And uh, unreal, unreal. So I managed to get a six by six. In fact, it's six. It's one fifty by one forty five. It's just, like I say, I'm messed up, but it doesn't matter because it's only going for legs in the ground anyway, so, um, for some reason, like, yeah, so, yeah, it looks, it looks well, I'm, um, I'm excited to, um, to start making more, and, um, next, uh, next week, sorry about that, <laughs> next week, I actually have, um, Logs getting delivered, a lot of logs, 26 ton of logs, <laughs> bless me, 26 ton of logs to be precise, that's going to be fun, so um, yeah I can't wait for that to come, I have no idea where I'm pouring them yet but we're going to pour them somewhere, uh, so yeah stay tuned guys stay tuned we need to get a mill up uh, the extension rails for this as well can't wait can't wait can't wait yep really excited now start getting this thing paying for itself so without further ado oh let's show you the finish i mean the finish is pretty decent There's no ripples at all off the blade. It's just smooth. All you can see is just the grain, really. And um, it's pretty true as well. Let's see if I can get. Yeah, it's damn near straight down there. Uh, so, Frontier OS27 sawmill. Um, yeah, I think I've definitely went the right way with this one. I didn't have to go with Norwood, Norwood brand. I don't think it justifies the price, but, uh, well, I don't know, I might be wrong. You know, the extras that come with it might be nice, but no, it's, uh, it's bang on. So, thumbs up from me at the moment. I know I've only cut this one log on it, but... It's impressed me so thanks very much guys for popping along on this one uh i know they've been a bit um and ah here like in like bits here bits there but it's just where i can get to you guys i'm sorry i've been i've been on a job all week but it's been that bad weather i just haven't brought you along the mini dig has been working working its butt off so there's an update for that to come uh but yeah so we'll see you guys on the next video take care everyone